What's up, Chris? What's going on? What did you do? This is what happens when you have to ship your daughter board out to let someone test a video card in it. That's my 4000. Well, that's what's left of my 4000. Chris, where's your motherboard? It's right here. I need to work on this because my sockets are all broken. My chip ram sticks up like this. This one's a freaking 90. You know, because that's that's normal. That's all I could find at the time. I have had these sockets for this for two years. <laughs> you know, I've had other work to do. Like Hoss. Like that. Like that. And that. And another tower board. And it just the list grows. And those things. The list goes on and on. So, maintaining your own fleet while repairing everybody else's fleet just sucks the living life out of you. We haven't even gotten into that stuff yet. Anywho, what I'm going to do is while I have a moment, I'm going to replace my sim sockets. All of them. We've got the metal clips. Get this 90 out of here. While this is totally fine and it isn't in the way at all, I want it to be the correct way. If you remember when I first got this 4000 motherboard, it was extremely damaged. We have 177 bodge wires underneath looks like a damn octopus remember all that mess oh yeah she's got some issues so I'm going to peel away the captain tape here and we're going to just start busting out Mona 3 and removing all these sockets I could solder suck them with a gun but you know how I feel on that maybe I'll take care of my own case it is serial number 439 I mean it's, it's pretty clean don't get me wrong, it's not all jacked up, but it's got some surface rust on the bottom. Maybe I'll spray the inside. I don't know. We'll get to that maybe later. 9.09 p.m. End of July, 2022. Like always, this video will be way late because I film a lot. Edit one day a week and post as much as I can. 10.40 p.m. Pow, I got my sockets out. I was going to put them back in tonight, but... uh. I'm getting kind of tired and I'm afraid I will screw something up. I had to clean this SOB out four times. 380 solder sucks. Actually, more than that. Because I had to add solder to each point. That's uh, 72 times 5. That's 360 points. Putting on and taking off, that was 720 interactions with those pins. 360 sucks. Ah. If you clean it out, I found that the trick with that to get good suction is use a little bit of deoxid right on the little rubber piece that actually does the vacuum pull. Psh, helps a lot. It gives you a strong reaction. The problem is it sticks to the spring and then when you push out, you're supposed to get a, a solder ejection every two to three pulls. One, two, three of them and you push out it will push a little turd out I have a whole trash can full of them as it gets more in there little bits it starts to clog up and your your ejection when you hit the button to pull the solder it actually drops trash out so that's why I had to take my time cleaning it I'm done for the night and I have to work in the morning like work work so this will not be touched till tomorrow night it's Thursday at 10.47 p.m. And I'm tired. So that's a little bit of my Amiga 4000. This has needed to be done for a long time. So while Kevin's got my daughter board, I'm taking some time for myself to do this in between five repairs. One of which is kicking my butt. Hell with it. Sleeping's for wussies. Got the RAM sockets. Boom. I ordered these from, I think, Amiga kit couple years ago these are the metal clip correct angle ones make sure you are down flush and then when you put the next socket in if you're doing this by the way or if not just watch me make sure it is down all the way that way you don't have a, like a little turn up or whatever because if you get a little angle on it by the time you get to the last one it won't fit so important safety tip and just like that that is one one new socket and it is 
Looks like it's down. Down flat. That's two. And 11.04. And there were three. 11.09. Four. 11.14. Final one. Houston, we have a problem. We've hit a technical difficulty. A pin broke off. So I'm extracting a pin from the other one. These are some complex 11.42 p.m. Bam. I'll tell you what. You drop a pin out of one of these bastards, they are molded into the plastic and you have to snap them in half to extract the pin. Basically, I took about eight of these to fix one of those. I had to keep trying how it fit, cut it, bend it. Eh, it's in there. It's not perfect. It is 11.44 p.m. 4.30 is going to roll around quick. So, I got to hit the hay tomorrow night and we'll put this puppy back together. Till then, for me it's going to be a while, for you it's going to be... Hello everyone, welcome back. It is currently 4.33 p.m. I just got home from work. Polished off a couple pieces of pizza, dipped them in that uh, garlic stuff. You get the old Papa John's. I have yet one more Amiga 4000 that I have been working on and that does still have a daughter board in it. It was in a powder coated black case. It's going to be kind of like the bench 4000. That's why I acquired the, uh, well, the one that became the two 030s. I have uh, this daughter board, which I'm just going to put in because I have a graphics card. Now, it's not a graphics slot graphics card, it's a Zorro 2. It's the GVP Spectrum 2824. I'm going to start reassembly of mine, starting with these bad boys. Go in and click down. Now I have one pin that you can see sticking up here like a nice tight sweater on a cold winter day that uh, didn't like me too much and I, it was broken so I had to, oh that is so wonderful, the click in. Now I wonder how this last chip is going to work but we'll see. Get her in there right. Oh, metal slots. Look at that grip. Nice. Two more. These are my original 4 Mig Sims that give me 16. Now here's going to be the stinker. Is this going to work? I don't know. I mean, it hits, but does it touch? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. And now I have all these parts. Now I did put my floppy drive and, and, and GoTek on a Molex or a Berg splitter so I could use a standard, I could quick disconnect without having to pull those little tiny guys out all the time. That way I could have these for a compact flash card or other. Alright, do I get 16 megs of RAM? Yes, I do. So that pin replacement was functional. I now have my sockets replaced after two years. That is lazy. That is lazy and no excuse. The excuse is <laughs> I got busy with other crap. With my RAM installed here, we know I got 16 megs. I uh, put the riser board in with the little bar of hardness. You know I got Mr. T here. Mr. T is the 3640 25 megahertz that I have always used in here. I have two other cards that I'm going to put in. I have my uh, Xsurf 100 with the Rapid Road uh, Dude of Dudes. That goes in the bottom slot for me. So the reason I put the Xsurf in the bottom here is this. It just fits and that's why I always use it. I don't want something hanging over big old hoss card potentially bumping into these. Maybe break in the clips when they were plastic, now they're metal. So they should hold up until the plastic degrades and the metal pops out, you know. And then my next card is it's my Spectrum card and that gets the screws with the metal grippy mofos on them. The next plot in this party is this. That's the Macro System Warp Engine. When we last tested her, I borrowed some RAM from this for the um, 
4000 tower on a quick pack. I have since went and got some rams for this. So these are 32 megabyte, 72 pin, 60 nanoseconds, non parity, mofo, non EDO, non, just ram sticks. Holy bar mitzvah. That is 128 megabytes of RAM. That really puts the weight on. This heat sink sucks. I do not like this heat sink. Supposedly 486 heat sinks fit on these chips fine. But, you know, good luck with that. I'm going to plug in my power and we're going to see how much RAM we actually have now. Well, honk my hooter. Do we have 120 megs of RAM? Woo wee! Okay, so here is the 4000 with the warp engine. All tidied up. We have the 1011 drive on the front and we're going to turn it on. So it took me forever to put this back together. I apologize. New RAM sockets, the warp engine, and we're just going to hit it. We're just going to turn the power on. That might help. This has a Sony DVD RW CDR, blah, 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 blah. 1.76 meg floppy and a GoTek in the bottom slot. 19 inch repainted VGA monitor using the GVP Spectrum 2824 video card so that's why it's not going to display a 15 kilohertz screen at this time it is mode promoted and it is running in a uh, regular multi-scan. This cable here I've shown in a previous video does do the DB23 and toggles back into a DB9 which then upscales all of the 15 kilohertz programs to 31. So we're rocking along. I'm just going to do a quick and dirty show config. We have three memories. We have two megs of chip, 16 megs of onboard fast, and then the 128 from the warp. Now the interesting thing about the cards here. We'll go over them here. I have three Z3s and one Z2. And it's weird because as you can see here, let's start at the bottom. The Spectrum 2824 is a Zorro 2 card. But the RAM as you can see here is Zorro 3. And it's 2 megs of RAM. You can see here on the right Sorry, I have to pan because the zooming skills of myself are poo. Uh, the next card we have is the XSurf 100 from iComp. And it has the USB blaster, whatever it's called, USB thing on it. And that's a great, great piece of kit. Unfortunately, that is no longer being made. So if you have one, don't plug the Berg connectors in. And finally on the top we have the Macro Systems Warp Engine 3000-4000. I don't know why they put an X. I don't know. And that has, uh, it says 16 megs, which is interesting. I don't know why that is, because the memory is 128 megs. It's 25 megahertz, so it's not like mind-blowing speed, but it, it does have onboard SCSI. 6840. 882 040 FPU in use. Um, I'm going to first do speed on drives. These are the internal IDE drives. Okay, we're about 2.1, 2.1 megs. And uh, the board itself, you'll see uh, crazy serial number. I don't know. It just doesn't, still doesn't say. Um, speed, of course, it's about 25 megahertz, maybe a little bit faster because of the RAM. So we're 28.5 megahertz, so we're 3.8 megahertz faster. That gives us the 1.13 over the stock uh, 040. Now this is a little off, that's okay, but uh, 4060 to 40, 1.13, we are at 20,711 dry stones. That is an older test based on CPU cycles. You can look that up. Uh, MIPS, millions of instructions per second, 21.61 million instructions per second, and uh, 5.33 million floating point operations per second. The dry stone is actually dry stone second. Just like MIPS and MIM flops, it's million of instructions 
per second, and this is dry stone per second. So that's a CPU cycle test. It's an older code, sir, but it checks out. But it's still a valid test for these old machines. And, you know, we have a Spectrum 2024. I'm currently in a 640 by 480 multi-scan mode using Picasso 96, or actually it is now called P96. And you can go in here and, yep, you can see my Trident for my USB and my P96 mode is, I still have that, I gotta get rid of this, I have another board I was messing with, but that's the Village Tronic. It'll do up to 1280 by 1024, uh, but I don't use it that high because I can't see anyways. I'm in 800 by 600 16-bit mode because that is good enough for what I use it for. And uh, I listen to music CDs on here and I use this, I do some uh, light 3D graphics and some word processing and uh, I enjoy it. I don't play games on most of my Amigas. Can of fodder sitting right there. Uh, but I do use this machine on a regular basis and it has the external A1011 drive which I restored earlier. I don't know if I ever even showed that on my channel but it functions perfectly. It has a red LED like that of its uh, older brother, the 1010 that is currently on my 1000 and uh, so that's it yeah I got my sim sockets back in I finally have the warp engine 040 in here and she is just a beauty pure white I have not retro brighted this or done anything with it this is serial number 439 and I'm really impressed and I love this machine very much so I love all my Amigas very much so just as I'm sure you love yours so that is all I got for now. Thank you guys for coming along on this interesting journey. And as always, I hope you learned something.